Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about the various merits and demerits related to the vestigial sideband. So let's begin with the topic. Vestigial sideband plays an important role in transmission of the video signal in case of television system. So now in this topic we are going to discuss the merits that is advantage and demerits that is limitations of or disadvantages of vestigial sideband. So the first advantage that is provided by the vestigial sideband is considered as the most important advantage and that is nothing but reduction in bandwidth. The vestigial sideband provides reduction in bandwidth which is considered as one of the most important feature of VSB. As the bandwidth is get reduced, therefore it is as efficient as SSB. The second feature or the second advantage is nothing but the picture signal will occupy bandwidth of 6.5 instead of 11 megahertz. Now the third advantage is it is design of filter is very easy and it poses good face characteristics. So these are the some advantages that is provided by vestigial sideband. Now let's move on to the disadvantages. Now before moving to the disadvantage, there is one more advantage which is considered as an important advantage of the VSB that is it provides good phase characteristics and therefore it is possible to transmit the signal even at low frequency. Now let's discuss some demerits of the vestigial sideman. A small portion of transmitted power is wasted because the vestigial sideband filters which are used in the TV system removes the lower sidebands. So because of that the small portion of the power is get wasted. The second disadvantage is the attenuation slope of the receiver to correct the boost at low video frequencies place the carrier at 50% output voltage which amounts to introduce a loss of about 6 dB in signal to noise voltage ratio. Then the next disadvantage is some phase and amplitude distortion of the picture signal occurs. This is because it is very much difficult sometime to tune the IF amplifier present in the receiver of the TV system and therefore because of this some phase and amplitude distortion is get introduced in the system and that is considered as one of the disadvantage of VSB. The next disadvantage is more critical tuning at the receiver become necessary because it is very much important to tune the receiver amplifiers properly otherwise the signal may get corrupted or the signal may get distorted so therefore it is very much important to tune the receiver amplifiers properly and that is becomes critical in case of VSP. So irrespective of this disadvantages the vestigial sideband is still used for the transmission of video signal because of its main advantage that is nothing but the reduction in bandwidth. So these are the some advantages and disadvantages of the vestigial sideband. So I hope you understand this topic. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.